So talking about movement in animals, they move from one place to another in search of food to build or to find shelter and to escape from enemies. They have limbs or other body parts which help them to move. So the animals, they either have limbs or other body parts which help them to move. The ability to move from one place to another is called locomotion. So talking about movement in animals, animals move from one place to another for various reasons. They move in search of food, to build or to find shelter and to escape from enemies. They have limbs or other body parts that enable them to move and the ability to move from one place to another is called locomotion. Next we are talking about movement in fish. How do fish move? So the locomotion in fish is called swimming and it is performed by organs called fins. So if you have a look at the fish, you will find the fins. It has fins on either side of its body and a tail. So the locomotion in fish is called swimming and it is performed by organs called fins. The streamlined body of the fish helps it to swim easily. So if you have a look at the body of the fish, it has many lines. So the streamlined body of the fish enables it to swim. The unpaired fins in the fish help it to stabilize. So there are the fins, there are paired and unpaired fins, a single fin. So the unpaired fins of the fish help it to stabilize whereas the paired fins help it to steer and balance itself in water. So the purpose of the fins that is paired and unpaired. The unpaired fins enables a fish to stabilize whereas the paired fins helps it to steer that is to move and balance itself in water. The tail and fins help the fish to move forward. So the tail and the fins help the fish to move forward and change its direction. So this is about movement in fish. So the locomotion in fish is called swimming and it is performed by organs called fins. The streamlined body of the fish helps it to swim easily. The unpaired fins in the fish help it to stabilize whereas the paired fins help it, helps it to steer and balance itself in water. The tail and fins of the fish help the fish to move forward and change its direction. So this is about movement in fish. Moving on to the next is movement in insects. So we see that insects like your butterfly, housefly and mosquito have three pairs of legs and one or two pairs of wings. So talking about movement in insects, insects like your butterfly, housefly and mosquito have three pairs of legs and one or two pairs of wings. Talking about movement in insects, insects like your butterfly, housefly and mosquito, they have three pairs of legs and one or two pairs of wings. Both the wings and the legs are attached to the exoskeleton plates using muscles which help their wings in flapping movements while flying. They use their legs for walking, hopping and wings for flying. So if you see that they have both the wings and the legs 
the the insects ling, uh, wings and legs are attached to the exoskeleton plates using muscles which help their wings in flapping movements while flying they use their legs for walking hopping and wings for flying so this is the purpose of the wings and the legs and we find that the wings are attached to the exoskeleton plates using muscles that help the wings to flap next is your movement in amphibians so talking about the movement in amphibians amphibians like your frogs can live both on land and in water the adult frog locomotes by crawling and jumping so the adult frog it moves it locomotes by crawling and jumping with the help of four limbs so the four limbs the four limbs helps a frog to crawl or to jump jumping with the help of four limbs and the hind limbs so these are the hind limbs so the adult frog locomotes by crawling and jumping by with the help of their four limbs and hind limbs they can swim in water as they have webbed feet and if you look at the feet of the frog you find it has webbed feet which enables it to swim in water so talking about movement in amphians amphibians so amphibians like your frogs can live both on land and in water and the adult frog locomotes by crawling and jumping with the help of its four limbs and hind limbs they can also swim in water as they have webbed feet so next is your movement in reptiles so reptiles such as your turtles crocodiles snakes and lizards have developed their own unique ways of locomotion so talking about movement in reptiles reptiles such as your turtles crocodiles snakes and lizards have developed their own unique ways of locomotion so we were talking about movement in animals that is movement in insects movement in fish movement in amphibians movement in reptiles and you see that the reptiles have developed their own unique way of locomotion so movement in reptiles reptiles such as the turtles crocodiles snakes and lizards have developed their own unique ways of locomotion turtles and crocodiles swim in water with the help of their paddle like and webbed feet respectively snakes crawl on the ground with the help of their body muscles and ventral scales lizards and the crocodiles use their short limbs if you see if i have a look at the limbs it is short so i have short limbs limbs and stomach to crawl on the ground lizards can climb on smooth walls with the pads present on their paws so if you have a look at the paws the pads that are present enable the lizards to crawl on the wall so talking about mo movement in reptiles each reptile has a unique way of movement the crocodiles and the turtles they swim in water with the help of their paddle like and webbed feet whereas snakes crawl on the ground with the help of their body muscles and ventral scales the lizards and crocodiles use their short limbs and stomach to crawl on the ground and the lizards can climb on smooth walls with the pads present on their paws 
next is the movement in mammals talking about movement in mammals many animals have four limbs the front limbs are called four limbs and the limbs at the back are called hind limbs and some use all the four limbs in to move and some use only the hind limbs so talking about movement in mammals we see that many animals that is mammals have four limbs the front limbs are called four limbs and the limbs at the back are called hind limbs some animals use all the four limbs to move and some use only the hind limbs so this is about the movement in animals